Uh, We're going to have an intervention right now. If you've got your headphones on, great. Put your ear a little closer to the radio. You know who you are. You know who you are. You went on vacation, didn't you? You forgot to arrange someone to water your plants. You had beautiful bedding plants full of flowers. And then when you got back, they went from that wowsy to lousy. And it's okay. We're here to support you. You know that most of them came back, but you've got sections that are just not going to make it. It's time to just cut and get rid of those flowers that are dying, that are that are making everything else look bad. And, and it's easy. You know why? Your local garden center has fresh material, large plants that can replace two foot by two foot holes that you have in your choked out garden because you wanted to take a beach day. It's okay. We've all been there. Julio, you've been there, right? I've been there, yeah. I've been there. But don't spend the rest of the summer saying, oh, I can always put mums in in the fall. Oh, they're pretty. I hate mums. I'm sorry. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of pansies because of a name like pansy, tough. they've got to be tough, right? Oh, yeah. sure. Anyway, but, then, but pansies, you, what, October? Yeah. You're going to wait till October? The, yeah. the frost that we get, that's a killing frost. Now we're talking about a killing frost, a frost that's going to kill your annuals. Softest annual in the world is going to be impatience. That's usually, gosh, November? Maybe, maybe the end of October, Halloween. But listen, don't spend the entire summer looking at those dead areas where, you know, they just didn't get as much water from, you know, say you had the kid next door watering, right? You know, by the time he got to the end, it was like, I'm sick of this. And and that that (laughs) section doesn't look good. It's time to cut out those plants and replace them. If you're looking on our YouTube channel, and please subscribe and give us five-star review, we would appreciate it. And most of all, our sponsors would appreciate it. But we're showing a nine-inch lantana. Now, if you bought hanging baskets and and you know the size of it, these are the size of a 10-inch hanging basket. So they're big. They're big. They're not just nine-inch plants. They're at least a foot across. And there are even bigger plants behind us in the background. We have some Denver daisies. Now, if you, you get the chance to maybe mix it up a little bit, if you have some vacant spots in your... In your, bed, in your bedding plants, or even in your container plants. There's a lot of things you can do. And you can also prepare for fall by adding something like the Denver daisies. They look great for summer, but they also in the fall are going to look terrific. Different types of ornamental grasses. There's so much that you can do. Your combo pots, is it time to maybe... Rip them out and start all over. Sure, it's time. Sure. Hanging baskets, oh. fresh summer, heat tolerant plants. We talked about replanting your vegetable garden last That's week. What, yeah, we did. And that really, the, there is yeah, was time to do a that. huge palette for being able to plant right now. In the fall, that palette becomes mums, pansies, and ornamental kale and cabbage. Boring. (laughs) These plants will live through the majority of the fall into certainly October through October. And that that first frost that comes sometime in the beginning of, of November. We're talking about a killing frost. We're talking about pinks and purples and summer fashion colors that you can't get in the fall. You know, maybe Celosia has got a purple and, you know, there's some mums that say they're pink, but they're doggy. Don't give up. Don't give up on your summer flowering plants. Vinca, Calibrecoa, Lantana, and more. 
is available at your local garden center. Go out, replace those areas where you've got some holes and you'll be happy because you'll have to see it. Because right now you kind of kick yourself when you see those areas that are kind of died out. Just go out there, replant them. Because the plants that are available now, the fresh material that's available now are heat tolerant summer plants made just for that and for that summer color palette, not fall plants like mums. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go out there. We understand. You'll feel great about yourself and your yard and garden and home will look fantastic.